Hi guys, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Subbaraju. In this video session, you can view JavaScript events. What is an event? What are the events we can perform on the objects? Total, how many number of events existed in JavaScript? Like this, many other things we can discuss in this video session. By using JavaScript, we have the ability to create dynamic web pages. Definitely, that is a reason. DHTML we are calling dynamic hypertext markup language with JavaScript. Events or actions that can be performed or that can be detected by JavaScript. Performed on objects detected by JavaScript. And finally, I wrote here very clearly events are normally used with the combination of functions. I am not saying without function also, okay, but generally we are using with the combination of functions. A big list of events existed in JavaScript. At least a few events you can try to observe here. Abort, click, error, focus, load, unload, mouse out, mouse over, reset, on blur, on focus, like this number of events existed. A few events before we are going to discuss. So, common event, almost all, maximum in video sessions I used, mainly in JavaScript related video sessions on click event. This event always fires when user click on the object, single click. Now syntax, element level, javascript level, first I will show you element level, some javascript code. When object base is started, object level click. Now if you are coming down, support, non-support available, right, first we will go to directly example, right, alert, function, function name, alert, welcome to events. Alert, events or actions, right, come down to button, on click is equal to, event that one, alert, message, click, underscore, alert, button, now refresh, click on that, welcome to events, click OK. Right, two alert messages, one single click event which I shown to you. Not only here, several examples we can do. Click is very most popular event in our JavaScript environment. But basic level example I shown to you. For example, if, if you are coming to on click level only, little, a little critical level we can see. Document dot get element by id, id I am giving dot Inner HTML is equal to date. Here are several things I need to explain. Document is an object, get element by id is the method, and id name, inner HTML is the property, date is the function. Now I need to change that function name also. I said simply my sys date. Then come down, paragraph level, id is equal to dt, click the button to display the system date and time, system date and time, button on click is equal to, what that one, my sys date, ok, click underscore date, ok. Now I am going to display that, if I click the button, it is going to call this function Function name is my sys date and displaying or not we can see. Right, refresh it, click on that and not displayed. So, click the date I said, come down. Function my sys date, good, correct. And id is equal to dt used. My sys date you implemented. Whenever click the button to display the system date and time, you are going to call actually this. Where, yes based on id. Now, my sys date is there, correct observe here. So, if you are clicking on that, it should display. But why this inner html story you displayed actually? So, document dot level you can observe before inner html, spelling mistake you did already? Yes, you need to. What I said? 
document is an object and which contains get element by id method perfectly displays now type mistake that's all nothing is there no logical mistake now we can go back so document dot get element by id okay method inner html property so main you people ready to ask the question what is this get element by id you didn't explain what is this inner html we don't have idea no problem so methods are separate i'll take a video session but need to understand from a web page you want to get one element based on id and that you can get uniquely based on the property value property inner html property inner html generally contains for container tags value contains for only non container tags what are the containers what are the non containers after events i'll show you just in this example my main motto is not only alert we can display other examples also come back now not only on click come down to on double click yes when it is going to fire regarding on double click this event occurs when the user double clicks on an element simple same almost a syntax some javascript code some javascript code now come down and i am going to display my system on dbl click and i said on double click refresh just click on that sorry unable to what event you implemented here double click implemented implemented type that means of click on the double click perfectly displayed so click click level executing double click double click level executing some kind of requirement i am finding if you click okay is there okay if you click automatic convert into cancel some web pages if you double click on cancel page will be close like this also events we can develop but first we'll complete the basic events then we'll come back now i'm showing next event on load beautiful event this event occurs when an object has been loaded on load is the most often used within the body section commonly we are using including images level also we can use script level also we can use and syntax element level as well as object level right on load event i am performing simply first one alert message i'll show you alert page loaded successfully right close that and page load related names i am providing page load now just you can try to refresh that refresh the web page and check it once the web page is loaded the alert message displays come on refresh not displayed where you wrote on load yes body level on load equal to what is that one page load you need to call that yes come on refresh now perfectly page loaded successfully actually this page load when the server side response is there effectively we can but i am not teaching to you any server level programming just client level javascript at the browser level i am trying to show you but same example little effectively we can do for example one image i'll take image loaded successfully so one image i am taking image loaded and image just two alerts i provided only satisfaction purpose nothing is there and on load doesn't required here image img source equal to any image you can take width is equal to 200 pixels height equal to 200 pixels on load equal to image load if image loaded perfectly displays these two alert messages otherwise no message displaying or not we can come and refresh perfect image loaded successfully for example image not existed okay image intentional i am doing mistake so image is not there that's all no message on load get executes only the particular element gets loaded 
the particular images gets loaded otherwise it is unable to display that again correct the spelling right save it refresh perfect on unload opposite of on load on error when image unable to load or image level there is any mistake maybe server level the response is coming due to internet some problem image unable to display or page unable to display or some object unable to call that time on error will be executed so this is a simple event i shown to you on load thank you for watching my videos for more videos please log on youtube.com/nareshati Thank you.